Today we're going to practice estimating square roots by hand. When you're doing this, it is important to find the first two perfect squares that the value is closest to. So if you look at the square root of 39, it is closest to the perfect square of 36 and 49. Remember that the square root of 36 equals 6, so I know that the first part of my decimal is going to be 6. The next thing that you do is you see how far your original number, 39, is away from the smaller square root. So the smaller square root is 36. 39 is 3 values away from that. So you're going to write a fraction with 3 on top. Then you're going to find the difference of the two numbers. If you look here, 36 and 49, I'm going to subtract those two numbers. 49 minus 36 is 13. That becomes my denominator. So I have the fraction 3 over 13. I need to change that fraction to a decimal. I'm going to take this to two decimal places. Remember that when you change a fraction to a decimal, you put the denominator outside and the numerator inside. Now 13 doesn't go into 3, so add a decimal and a 0. <clears throat> 13 goes into 32 times. 13 times 2 is 26 with a remainder of 4. Since you need two decimal places, you need to add another 0, bring that down. 13 goes into 43 times. 13 times 3 is 39, so you're going to subtract that with a remainder of 1. You could continue going and continue estimating, but I want you to stop at two decimal places. So 0.23 is the value that goes after the 6. Now, if you were to actually check this with a calculator and find the square root of 39, it may not be exactly 6.23. If you look at my calculator here, my TI-83, I'm going to start by hitting second, and then the square root key, which is where this x squared key is. When I hit the square root of 39, I get 6.24. Okay, so the approximation method this way is not always going to give you the exact answer, but it's going to give you a close answer. So if I want you to estimate by hand, you have to use this method.